This week I'm testing the Mitsubishi Outlander FEV. It's a five-seater plug-in hybrid. Let's find out how good it is as a baby drive. <laughs> In the back of the Outlander FEV, there are Isofix in the two outer seats. They are not within plastic guides and relatively easy to connect to. On the back of all three seat backs, there are top tether anchorages within plastic guides and a bit tricky to connect to. Now, if you need to get three child seats across the back here, definitely try them out before you buy them. I managed to get this combination of three seats across, but other combinations wouldn't fit at all. I've got a rear-facing and two forward-facing booster seats. I do find, because of that central seat buckle sticking up so rigidly, that I couldn't get a central seat to move across. Now, legroom is excellent in the Outlander FEV. With a rear-facing child seat, I could easily get a 182 centimetre passenger in the driver's seat. In the back of the Mitsubishi Outlander FEV, storage is quite minimal. There are two cup holders in a fold down in the central seat back. They will hold a reusable and a disposable coffee cup. There are mat pockets on the back of both front seats that will hold an iPad. The door bins are small. They will hold two 600 mils, but I couldn't get a larger fillable water bottle in them. And there are the little storage wells in the handles too. Storage in the front is quite minimal. There are two cup holders in the central console here that will hold a reusable and a disposable coffee cup. There's a really small central console storage box. The glove box is a good size in here. It will hold my iPad and my wallet with the manual. There's no glasses case in this model because of the sunroof, but the bottom spec model does have a sunglasses case. And the door bins are a good size. They will hold a large refillable water bottle. And there's the little wells for your handles too. The boot of the Outlander FEV opens and closes silently, which is great. There's also a bit of storage under the floor here where your charging cables are kept. Let's find out how much we can fit in the boot. Empty, it will hold 15 shopping bags. Or the Duet Twin Stroller and six shopping bags. Or the Flex Tandem Stroller and five shopping bags. Or the Urban Jungle Single Stroller and seven shopping bags. Or the Nano Compact Stroller and 10 shopping bags or a large dog. Now being a plug-in hybrid, the Outlander FEV is much quieter than the diesel or petrol variants of this car, which is really good for family friendliness in terms of driving your kid to sleep, things like that. Now also you get about 55 k's out of the battery range on this. So it meant I could do most of my around town driving during the week without actually using any fuel and I could drive my child to sleep and sit with the aircon running without using the fuel too, which was great. Now the difference between the FEV and maybe the RAV4 hybrid for example is you can actually get up to motorway speeds in the um, FEV. So if if part of your commute is on the motorway, as long as it's within the range of the battery, you can actually do it all on battery range alone. You can actually choose in the FEV whether you're using the battery or the fuel to power the car, um, just using the buttons down in the central console here. And you can choose to charge the battery while you're driving as well. And there's a great visual on the screen to let you know what's being used. The media system in the Outlander FEV is quite basic and simple to use. It does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is fantastic. When I put it into reverse, the camera image is a little bit pixelated, but you too do get the two views and you can mute the parking sensor sound with a button by the driver's right knee. So to sum up with the Outlander FEV, it is a nice little family car with a really good legroom and boot space. And being a plug-in hybrid, it does make commuting and the trips around town really practical for a family. Read the full reviews at babydrive.com.au